You're probably already familiar with some of the most common examples of business policy. Does your company offer paid vacation? Does it use at-will employment or term-specific contracts? Does your company have a policy about the use of company assets? The answers to these questions are examples of your company's internal business policies. But what is business policy exactly? Business policy is defined as the guidelines a business develops to govern its actions. That means a company's business policy includes not only vacation policy, employment contracts, and use of assets, but also how a company makes decisions about issues that will affect its success. Let's look at an example. In 1974, Art Fry, a scientist for the office supply company 3M, had an idea, a bookmark that would keep the place in his church hymnal. Using a weak 3M adhesive, Fry created the post-it note. Fry worked on this invention during his 15% time at 3M. Employees at 3M are encouraged to use 15% of their paid time at the office to pursue their own projects. Employees benefit from this policy by having the time to work on their own ideas, increasing their workplace satisfaction, and the company benefits from this policy as well. Many of the patents 3M holds were developed by employees during their 15% time. Other successful companies like Hewlett Packard and Google have also adopted this policy. Like Post-its, Google Earth and Gmail were created during Google employees' paid personal time. So what makes a good business policy? Should a business's policies benefit both employee and employer? Should they foster company growth or innovation? By the end of this course, you'll be able to answer these questions and you'll also learn what goes into making business policy decisions, what internal and external factors affect the success of a company, what strategies firms use for marketing and policy making, and more.